this is uh, the lock from my Ardler Model 23 uh, typewriter case and this is a very quick little project I hope uh, will work and that's to manufacture a key for this lock uh, everything is functional in the lock that I can see and when I went to a leather shop to pick up some few bits and pieces I took the lock with me and the shop owner he's the only leather supplier and supplier of mm, sort of leather um, accessories and and things I'm still in business it's a third generation shop in Vienna called Lady Kramer and really the the grandson who now runs the business um, quite an older chap um, was really really kind and when I showed him the the lock and said I was going to try and make a key he had a box of random keys and he said I was very welcome to have a look through them and see if anything fit and and he gave me this key for free um, it's the closest I came to fitting in the lock um, here I think possibly a little bit short at the bottom but when I put it in and turn it um, you might be able to see one-handed that um, I mean it, I have actually locked it with this key although it's not been uh, not perfectly and I don't want to force anything but I think it's possible if I file down um, part of that top right section that I might be able to get it to work properly so I'm going to see um, if I can do that. I have made keys for little wooden boxes before by um, studying the lock mechanism as much as I can see and trying to find a suitable key. And I've managed to find keys on flea markets and file them down and make them work. So I'm going to have a go now with this one just to see if it works. You can see that as I turn it there, that top section um, and the gap between that and the next one is a little bit wide and it's not quite pushing the lever at the top there, this little part here at the top. So I'm going to have a go now and see if I can make that work, a little tinker. So I'll get back to you afterwards. Okay, so now I've finished um, working with the key. Uh, the first thing, I'd, I'll just do a quick demonstration to show you that it works and then I'll explain what I did afterwards. You can see that at the moment it's unlocked. And I filed a little bit on the key, just lock it there. You can see it's locked in place, which is quite good. Now to unlock it, oh, am I going the right way? Um, you have to apply a little bit of pressure. So when it's on the case, oh, there it's, there it's unlocked there. But I just wanted to point out one thing. One of the fun things about learning and tinkering uh, with things like this is you get to learn what the parts are called and what I've learned is that on a key like this a, a hollow stemmed um, key here l-shaped key this is the stem shank or shaft of the key and these little sections that come down here are called the wards um, this one is absolutely not necessary on this key but when I got this key and I was testing it out in the shop um, I could tell straight away that when I put it into the that pin into the keyhole there you can see that it's quite short this ward here so I always knew it wasn't a perfect fit but it fits the stem perfectly and at first when I tried to um, work on this key I did you can see that there are a section of plates and levers inside there and they were really kind of stuck together a bit it's a bit dirty inside so I used some lighter fluid I think I use this lighter fluid here um, to just to clean it up flush it through and I since oiled it after that and the plates inside loosened up quite a lot um, but the first thing I did was obviously look at the mechanism and see how it works and I could see that that ward has to move that plate at the back and it luckily with this key it only just makes it because it's quite short it needs to be a little bit longer you can see it moving up and down there I did gently file uh, a section of the middle of the uh, the keys there to make it work. So essentially this is how that works. That it's, it's locked now and that ward has, that plate falls down and locks it into place. And then that key, as you slide that, you can see it with a bit of pressure on it, you just move it up. Uh, the ward moves it up and you can unlock it. And some people might think, oh, well, I don't really need a key. The lock works, it's unlocked. But I always think with, first of all, a lock always needs to go with a key. If you can find or make one, that's great. But 
if this lock was to malfunction on the box and I didn't have a key, then you're really stuffed. Um, you can't get into the case at all. And I don't want to, to wreck or damage it. So I'm really pleased. I've managed to fashion a key that, that fits, but I will continue to look on flea markets for a similar stem um, with a hollow, a hollow stem with a slightly longer ward there. But for now, I'm satisfied that if this lock was to malfunction, I could still unlock the box. So I hope you find that useful. Um, it's now got a key and next time I'm in the leather shop, I might even buy uh, or get a spare one. I'm sure I'll, the, the chap will make me, uh, well, not make me, but I'll offer to pay for a second key. But I will look for one, actually, that's a bit longer to make it perfect. Maybe this one becomes the spare. So I hope you found that useful. And if you haven't got a lock on your key, um, a key on your lock, maybe you'll have a go. I've polished it all up as well. It looks nice and clean now. So thank you. That's that little project done.